Today we explore the hidden treasures of Munduk, an area of Bali that is often missed by tourists, but home to some of the most majestic waterfalls we've ever seen. Well it is true what they say, Munduk really is the paradise of waterfalls. We're Chris and Kirsty from Lockdown Made Us Travel. Let's get stuck into today's vlog. We've made it to Munduk and we are currently heading down to our first waterfall stop of the day, which is Banyu Wana Amertha Waterfall. Apparently there's four waterfalls and one here. Uh, we paid the entrance fee. It was 40,000 um, IDR for both of us in total. Um, we're heading there now. It takes about, well, I think it's about a kilometre walk down to the bottom. So I'm going to take you with us. So sorry we were quiet yesterday, we didn't do any filming and that's because we literally woke up and Ubered. We drove about two and a half hours to Munduk and to be honest we still weren't feeling 100% right. Um, still a little bit dodgy so we had a quiet one again yesterday but really up and raring to go today to see lots of really amazing waterfalls so let's go. There is actually four waterfalls here. So that was the first two. We're now going to head to the second two. Um, if you're coming here, there's like a fork in the road and you go left to the ones we just went to, or you can go straight on about another 200 meters, I think it is, to the last two. So we're just heading there now. this hike back up is killing us. I think it has something to do with the fact that uh, we've been ill for the last two days so energy is definitely somewhat lacking for sure. It's a sweaty one guys that's for sure. Yeah. I think normally you can actually get a bike a moped up for 30k but because uh, we've come so early there's literally nobody else here. No workers, nobody so we're gonna have to make the walk back up but it's worth it. It's worth it for all the waterfalls. Yeah definitely. So guys, honestly, it's not been going to plan. Um, so next up was Git Git Waterfall, Jit Jit Waterfall. We got there, um, we had an idea of what we wanted to look like and got to the ticket office, 150,000 each. And we were like, what, no way. Anyway, they wouldn't let us go down without paying 150. They had to send a guide with us, even though we didn't want a guide. So 300,000, which is nearly as much as we paid for our actual private car today. We headed down, not the waterfall we thought it was. Um, I feel like it was a bit of a money trap for tourists. We literally had everyone trying to get money off of you, including the guy who ran the swing down there and these children who wanted you to buy their accessories who were very, very pushy and you felt quite bad if you didn't. Um, so not feeling great to be honest, guys. Anyway, we told the taxi driver that's not the right place. Anyway, we've taken to a different jit jit, the one without the space on Google Maps, and now we're here. Anyway, of course, when you get there, they want to charge you for entry again. Um, so we showed them the tickets we had from the other jit jit, which apparently is higher up, but no, different waterfall apparently. So we've had to pay again another, well, they wanted another 100K each, and we said no, so they charged now 50K each. And I think now we're about 250 meters away from the spot which we thought we were going to be originally going to. So let's go. about half past one in the afternoon it's so it's really really busy the plan the original plan was to come here first this morning uh, but then we realized it didn't open till 8 a.m and we were already in the car at half past six so we decided to go to the other ones first 
and then come to this one on the way back. Um, but it does mean obviously that the later you come, the busier it is. Chris has got the drone up. Uh, it looks really, really cool. It is super, super beautiful. So check this one out. guys that's our time in Munduk come to an end if you've enjoyed this video please leave it a like subscribe and we'll see you next time if you would like to know more about Bali we have recently released a two-week itinerary and guide full of hidden gems photography spots and top tips to avoid the crowds this is available to purchase now for a small fee just click the link below see you next time